In this video we'll learn to use the symbols at the top. So we'll take them in turn, we'll see how they're pronounced, what they mean and use them in examples. The first one you should be familiar with, that is the equal sign. So two add two equals four. So that means that this side is equal to the other side. So another one, two times two equals four. So these are just two examples, but there could be many more. Whereas this one is very similar to the equal sign, but it's got a line going through. What that means is that it's not equal to. So to add to is not equal to five or two times two is not equal to six. So this symbol means not equal to. Whereas this one is smaller than. So the number on this side, two, is smaller than three. So the number on this side is smaller. As you can see with a symbol, it starts off small with just one dot and it expands. It's expand and this area that it covers is much bigger on this side. So that means that this side will be bigger. So number three will be bigger, whereas number two is smaller than three. Another way to look at it is like a crocodile mouth. It does look like a crocodile mouth and crocodiles like to eat bigger things. So that's going to eat number three because it's bigger. So that suggests that two is smaller. So two is smaller than three. And let's try another one. So five is smaller than 15, for example. So this one means greater than or bigger than. So if I just reverse this, then three is bigger than two. Again, the area that this covers, the symbol covers here next to three is much bigger, suggesting that three is bigger. And whereas towards or near two is like a dot. It's just a dot that then expands. And 15 is greater than 5. Now, this symbol reads smaller than or equal to. So it can be either smaller or equal. So an example that we could look at is spending when you go shopping. Let's say um, I'll go shopping now and I've got a budget of £50. So I'm going to say my budget is smaller than or equal to 50. Why do I say smaller than? Because I wish I could spend less, but the maximum I can spend is 50. So 49 is perfectly fine. 48 is fine as well, 30, 10 pounds is perfectly fine, but the maximum this can reach is 50. And the next symbol is the greater than or equal to. So let's suppose to get into a GCSE course, you need to get at least 30 marks. So the number of marks that you will be required to get should be greater than or equal to 35. So if 35 is the minimum, that means that you need at least 35 or more. So 36, 37 and so on. So to recap, we put this symbol 
which is the equals symbol when the two sides are equal to each other. We put these symbols when they're not equal to each other and these symbols, the smaller than symbol, when this side is smaller than the other side and the greater than symbol when the left is greater than the right and the smaller than or equal to symbol to suggest that whatever you're talking about has got to be smaller than or equal to could be smaller could be equal both of them either of them both of them are acceptable and this one the greater than or equal to is there to suggest that the number has got to be it's got to be bigger than or equal to. So that's the minimum that you can have. 